going back to what Flowers said, I believe this was in the, um, at the end of the Here Are Your Answers, Volume 2, and somebody asked her, what ideals do you have for the future of Questhaven? And her answer is, my hope is that individuals throughout the world who are interested in deep spiritual truths will find Questhaven. Questhaven has a vast foundation in, of rich energy that is perpetrated by the hierarchy. I idealize these people coming, tuning into the power that is here, and becoming a part of the master's plan for the continuation of their work. Providing the upliftment and spiritual food of retreatants should always be the first priority of Questhaven's leaders. It would always be my wish that the central grounds be well tended in a garden, an arboretum type of plan. Questhaven is a spiritual and physical oasis, as well as a preservation area for the beauty of nature in the wild and for the beauty of spiritual arts and knowledge. In some instances, individuals who are ill will be able to come here and learn how faith and health work together. This would be similar to a holistic endeavor, but we would not have a hospice. I hope that a seminary program to train ministers will be established, as well as an educational program. The masters mentioned this early in their contacts with us in 1950, so I know that they will be supervising this project very closely. The masters designed Questhaven even before we who work here were chosen for it. As long as spiritual students are open to the truth here, the hierarchy will be able to keep their plans for Questhaven in an ever-developing pattern. I get goosebumps every time I read that <laughs> because I see today so much of this being unfolded and, and manifested her hope that she planted all those years ago. As you drove into the grounds today, you passed the office and saw the new garden that is in process being, being designed and built with pools. So definitely would fit in with her idea of the garden and arboretum. We have people who come here now from all different walks in holistic healing, people who do massage, who do kujang, uh oh, I'm gonna say it wrong. Quigant. <laughs> tai Chi type of things. Um, <laughs> pranic healing. And so there definitely is that drawing to do that holistic kind of health. And then, as you all probably know by now, there is the online academy that is uh, being in production, you might say. We do have the website already, and it's just such a wonderful source of inspiration. and. I highly encourage you, if you haven't signed up yet, to do it because it's just wonderful to be able to go to that in your own time and, and look up things. And then we are doing the educational program now. That's um, we starting in the fall with our first class. And for those who want to be trained as ministers and complete the four years, they can do that. Others are doing it more as just for their own development or perhaps to be a spiritual coach. All these things are coming into being because of her hope. And I know that uh, particularly Reverend Blake Isaac, who is doing a bulk of that as far as the uh, seminary program, feels that he is being mantled with the higher ones helping him to do this. And it's not that the information that we're doing is, is new exactly. It's presenting it in a different way because we have the technology today to really bring it to life in a way that they couldn't 30, 50 years ago. And so it's really, um, it's really exciting to be a part of it and to know that this isn't Flower's work, this isn't Blake's work, this is the Master's work. And we're just being the vessels to help it to continue to grow here. And, and we are, the whole idea is to bring people closer to the Christ and through him to our Heavenly Creator.